So for this video, um, I wanted to be trying out the iWalk Secretary 2 power bank charger. And what makes this really interesting um, for me is that uh, if you have a Samsung phone, um, Samsung phones do not support Quick Charge 3, I think. They have an alternative um, specification called Power Delivery, which as you can see here, um, however, um, I rather stupidly didn't realize this and haven't actually got around to buying a USB-C to USB-C cable because I'm assuming to use the uh, power delivery system, I need to be using a USB-C to C cable. Um, however, rather nicely about this, sorry about the autofocus going a bit crazy here, um, is that it's, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, instead of your traditional 8,000 ones. Now, one of the other features I have about this is that they've introduced a, a kickstand as well, as we can see here. So you can then basically charge your phone and watch some Netflix or something else. However, in practice, I'm not sure how useful this actually is because the, uh, the kind of the, the placement for your charger is gonna be quite difficult. Um, now, They've also rather handily, which I do really like about this compared to other power banks. Um, this is my old power bank by Emmy, which was quite affordable. Um, you know, it's quite a flat 8,000 million power battery for what it is. Um, however, you know, it is quite difficult. Um, I have no idea what the, uh, the power amount on this because it's like uh, some sort of no, it's not actually going to tell me, which is rather useful. So I have no idea how much power is in this thing. Um, it's nice, nice design, but I wanted something with um, USB-C integrated and this power delivery out system. Um, because, as I said, this is a Samsung Galaxy which doesn't have a Qualcomm chipset and therefore doesn't support um, quick charge. So this does have, um, because this is the second edition of the uh, the secretary, it does have the USB-C. Um, incidentally, there's also micro USB, and they also send you an adapter for iPhone as well. So I thought, let me let me try out because I was in the airport and <clears throat> you use your phone a lot, and it's going to take a while to charge your phone. So using my old Emmy Power Pack at the time. Um, it was going to take me about two hours to charge my phone, which I thought was a ridiculous amount of time, or might have been close to three hours. Um, but as you can see here, this is now going to take one hour and eight minutes, which I think is about the same as a mains powered one. Um, if we then take the Emmy and we use a... Alternative. So here I have just a retractable USB charger. Um, again, you can see how much messier this is. How so if I uh, rather handily, actually, this one has got a micro USB. Um, see, I was about to embarrass myself there, but actually, uh, I remembered that this one does have that adapter. Um, and you can see this is quite fiddly. Um, actually, hang on. I plugged this in the wrong way around, haven't I? Uh -huh. So yeah, immediately having the uh, integrated cables kind of saves all this uh, messing around. So let's try this again. And we can see here, one hour, seven minutes. So for the amount of uh, cabling and messing around with a normal power bank, um, you actually have a nice compact um, charger here. Um, so it's clear that you do need a um, USB-C to USB-C cable to use the power delivery. Um, I will do a follow-up video once I've um, actually managed to get hold of one to see how much quicker this charger actually is because uh, I'll be intrigued to see if this has a uh, any sort of um, performance benefit. Because, you know, you're in the airport, you don't really want to spend three, four hours charging your phone. You know, you have stuff to do. You might be stuck in the airport. You want to play some games. 
Um, and if you've got a low battery, the last thing you want to do is basically be bored, rigid for many hours. Um, so, touching on one of the things I mentioned about the um, the integrated stand here, if, for example, you've decided to charge your phone up with the integrated charger, um, as you can see, the cable is pretty short. So, um, this is not exactly the most elegant way of doing something. So I think for me that this is not quite the uh, really the best way of doing things. So although it's great to have the kickstand, um, as you can see, it's quite difficult to use. There you go. And your phone then is at this horrible angle because there's just not enough of the, the cable there. Um, they could have maybe made this bit a bit shorter, so it's kind of like almost a good idea, but just didn't quite make it, as if this was like an extra few millimeters longer, then this would have been a great idea. Or maybe you're supposed to play you know, your content at this sort of angle, I'm not sure. Um, I am worried about this cable snapping off here. Um, I don't think it will, but I am mindful of the, uh, the strain. So the other thing to mention though is with this uh, integrated cable. This is quite a big handful um, to kind of carry around and um, because there isn't a lot of slack on this this is quite difficult then to uh, actually use your phone whilst you're, uh, you know, you're charging. The whole point of these power banks is obviously is to um, you know keep the phone on charge whilst you're, uh, you're using it. So it, the integrated cable is a nice addition but because it's just so short um, it is quite difficult to actually use in practice. So if it's something you want to carry around on you whilst you're, you're traveling, then it is quite weighty and uh, I would I would recommend using like a uh, third party cable. So here we have, for example, again, my nice um, retractable cable. Bear in mind, if you are buying third party USB-C cables, make sure they do say quick charging on them because a lot of the cheaper ones are not quick charging although this was only like a couple of dollars in the sale on AliExpress um, they are not quick charging so this one actually is uh, which is great for traveling because my cables always end up getting um, tangled up and stuff um, so as you can see here it is got the same amount of time to charge on the cable as it does with the uh, the integrated one. So for me, really, if you are buying a power bank like this, you are gonna still want to use a, uh, a cable with it. But what's good about the um, retractable one is obviously you can take it down to something a bit more manageable. Um, that's a bit easier to use. Um, incidentally, I don't like how big this is, but you know, that's just, I guess, how it is. But yeah, so this is the iWalk Secretary. And um, what I do like about this being, in terms of build quality, is that the, uh, the 10,000 milliamp ones from China tend to be really poor quality. And I would be worried about paying, you know, not a lot of money for uh, a power bank because at the end of the day, these have got batteries inside. And if you're buying a very, very, very cheap power bank, um, of very poor quality, then I would be frankly very worried about them blowing up. So this particular brand, um, I haven't heard of before, but um, it seems like it be really good, um, good sort of quality. So um, when you start looking into like quick charging and high capacity batteries, these power banks do go up in price. So at the moment, um, in terms of, you know, you just want a high capacity battery, then uh, you can settle for something like an ME or something else or something much cheaper. Now, one of the things I haven't mentioned actually, and one of the, uh, the reasons why I've got the, the iWalk um, is because this actually has, as you can see, um, five volts in and quick charge in. So this is also, one of the uh, more interesting factors, features of this iWalk Secretary, because this is such a high capacity battery, if this wasn't supporting quick charge, 
for example, my old power bank doesn't support quick charge. In fact, this only has a maximum of one amp in. Is that going to autofocus? No. Yes. Yeah. No. One amp in. So this means that this is going to take hours and hours to charge, whereas something as the iWalk, because it supports quick charge input and not just output, so you see input and output, this will only take maybe a couple of hours as opposed to needing to be charged overnight. Um, so that's something you really want to kind of be careful of is it's all very well buying a massive huge power bank, but then it's completely useless to you because you're going to have to leave it on charge all night. So actually, if you're in a hurry trying to get some last minute power out of your gadgets before you know, you're checking out or you know whatever it, you are doing in a hurry, um, you don't want to be waiting around for the charger itself to actually uh, charge up. Also, from what I understand from the manufacturer's um, marketing material is that this actually supports bypass charging. So this means you can actually charge up the uh, the charger. Um, if we got a, so rather handily we have a quick charge three enabled charger here. Um, and apparently you can then also charge your gadget at the same time. So again, here we have, so here we can see we're getting the benefit of the quick charging from the phone and charging up the power adapter at the same time. So this is basically bypass or pass through charging. So it means you can overnight charge your device and the battery pack and wake up the next day knowing that all your gadgets are charged and that uh, you're not going to be running out of power. So I do rec really recommend this. Um, it's quite a nice sized gadget. And the fact that you know you can quick charge the power bank itself, plus quick charge the actual devices connect to it. Um, the quick stand, you know, the kickstand is a, it's a nice to have. I mean, I don't know how much I'll actually use it, but I'm glad it's there. Maybe you know you're just uh, on the plane, um, wanting to watch a Netflix film. You know, if you don't potentially mind uh, your film being to one side and slightly slanted, it's you know it's it's a really nice accessory. I'm glad I bought it. Um, they're not cheap. I think this would probably be about $30. Um, you can get much cheaper chargers, but they won't have the quick charging capabilities. So don't forget if you are, you know, you do have a Samsung that isn't one of the Qualcomm chipset ones, you will need to be getting something like this that has the power delivery system and not just quick charge.